So, according to my records, this is video tutorial number 300 for my YouTube channel. Obviously a lot more have been made that uh, Horro and I provide commercially with our products at das 3 d but uh, this is the one that's gone up on the YouTube channel. And what I thought I would do for this was something a bit different. I thought I would cover the sort of software that I use and that might help people make some choices, or at least uh, give a sort of a quick review. So, all my tutorials are recorded using Camtasia Studio. It's an excellent bit of software and I use a um, condenser microphone to provide better voice quality than the headset which does tend to be a bit of a like somebody speaking right in your ear. So that was a recommendation that I picked up on uh, YouTube from another Bryce artist, Ouroboros and uh, I think you can find his channel somewhere. In fact, I'll provide a link so you can see that. So anyway, that's down to the recording side of things. Predominantly, I use Bryce. Uh, not just when the end result is being rendered in Bryce. You can see I'm, I'm in the middle of a re rendering at the moment, so I thought I could fit this tutorial in while I was, uh, while I was waiting for this re to render out, which is going to take some time because I've hit some detail here. Uh, Horo and I have made a lot of uh, custom tools in Bryce, many of which we... Uh, we vend and uh, that means that it can be used in the development process even when the final output isn't in Bryce so uh, things like the spherical mapper and various projection modes and uh, the processes that allow you to generate different uh, material effects and uh, images so use Bryce quite a lot another program that gets used a lot is uh, PaintShop Pro although it does have a bad habit of crashing when I'm cropping. I do use this program a lot. I find it very easy to use, quite intuitive. Uh, Wings 3D, um, which is free. I think PaintShop Pro cost me £5 for the full version. Wings 3D didn't cost me anything. I just downloaded it from the website. Uh, it's a subdivision modeler. It's uh, easy to use. There's plenty of uh, tutorials online, and I've done quite a few myself. Though I am learning at the moment, or trying to learn at the moment, I'm, I'm just downloaded the demo, uh, Modo. I uh, don't know how I'll get on with it and I certainly don't know how I'm going to afford it. It's a very expensive bit of software. It's quite fancy. As you can see it's taking a while to load and I've got this um, this demo version so let's see how many days I've got left on this one. It's, it's thinking about it. probably shouldn't have quite so many applications open at once. Uh, it's not giving me anything. Uh, probably Camtasia Studios caused that to uh, stall anyway. That's something I'm trying to learn. Oh no, don't tell me it's good. Ah, right, continue and close. Okay, or close wings. Uh, I've recently got to grips with UV layout. Um, this isn't a free bit of software. I think this cost me $200 for the hobby version. Uh, the interface is a bit strange, but it does an excellent job of unraveling very complex topography. I mean I've done some UV mapping tutorials uh, for wings and if you've watched any of those you'll see that it's it's a real handful to do any UV mapping in wings with anything like a complex object so UV layout is very good at that I can recommend that although as I say not free. Something else that's distinctly not free but very good is Octane Renderer provides very high quality output. It uses this node-based system which is very efficient in space in terms of uh, setting up your scene but it can be a bit of a tricky thing to get used to if you've had something as user-friendly and well artist-friendly as Bryce to uh, to get on with. As you can see you don't get anything to start with in terms of a view and you have to build it up from nodes. Uh, you also need a compatible graphics card so I've got a GeForce GTX 660 uh, in my PC. It doesn't run the monitor, it just is used for rendering purposes and I think that set me back about 200 quid so Octane is not the cheapest of choices if you want to get into rendering and it's certainly not somewhere I'd start but the results are excellent. What else we've got here? Oh, uh, Das Studio of course. Uh, das Studio is free, uh, it's available from the guys at Das. Under the bonnet it is a very powerful piece of software. I don't get on with the interface. Uh, it's, it's really for uh, posing, rendering, and that kind, uh, rigging, that kind of thing. You don't do um, any modelling or texturing in it as such, as far as I know. I've not really got very deeply into uh, Das Studio, but uh, you know, as you can see, it's a powerful piece of software. Look how smoothly this runs on, on a complex mesh. But 
I struggle with the interface. You may get on with it. It's free, so you can try it out and see if it suits you. Along the same lines, um, for development purposes, I also have Poser. I got Poser 10. Um, that was, I think, about £107. So it does things very similar to uh, Das Studio, but it costs you. Uh, it does have a different... Um, controls available for you and I got it uh, primarily to try and rig props and uh, Jack Tomlin's been kind enough to help me uh, get through the trial of uh, rigging one of my own props here that I've been working on so that's why I've got Poser. I can't really recommend it in any way because I've not really used it. I, I did have a very early version of Poser, Poser many years ago and found it tremendously slow but I can't say that's the case with Poser 10 but uh, other than that I can't really say very much about it because I've not used it for long enough. I'm just filling in on the kind of software that I use and what's running on my PC. So what else have we got? Um, I have got MeshLab, which I use for a decimating models. I have used for decimating models and sorting them out. I'm sure that Modo would be capable of that. Uh, Wing 3D does most of the things I need. I've got Hexagon 2, but find that everything I tried to do in that was causing a crash possibly because I was trying something a bit exotic and uh, hence move, moving to look for other modelers because I couldn't achieve the effect I needed in wings. I also have um, what we got here, Top Mod, which has got some useful tools, but I just crash that all the time. So uh, I found ways of doing that in Wings 3D, the things that I needed to do. And, oh yes, uh, finally, I suppose I do use this program uh, quite a lot, Crazy Bump. Uh, that's not free either. But it, it does an excellent job of uh, producing uh, normal maps and height maps from images. So if that's what you need to do, crazy bump, and you can get a demo to check that it's going to work for you, works very well at that. So I can recommend that for that reason. And I also have uh, Genetica, which I picked up at the DAS store. So Genetica 3.6, I use for creating seamless textures. It always opens up in my other monitor. And I would recommend having another monitor if you're going to take this uh, seriously if you're wanting to develop scenes it's very useful to have two monitors on the go so uh, primarily then what do we do with this uh, we use a synthesis node and then use this image synthesis to create repeating textures you can import your own images and create repeating textures there then they go from that to crazy bump and then they go from that to and you know whatever the output program is going to be so maybe textures for Dash Studio, maybe textures for Bryce the, this is a very good program uh, it's got a lot of capabilities it's another node based one I've not really got very far into the node system in uh, Genetica obviously as you can imagine it gets quite difficult when you've got so many different pieces of uh, software on the go and you switch from one to another and the interface differs very slightly and the approaches differ so it's like uh, the mouse and it is treated differently in Wings as it is in Modo, as it is in Dust Studio, as it is in Poser, as it is in Bryce, which use a rollerball on most of the time anyway, as it is in UV layout, and the shortcut keys are different, so it does tend to drive you a bit potty. But I rather use specialised bits of software uh, rather than general software, so I, I can keep each stage separate and uh, use the dedicated software for that. So there you go, that's just a, a bit of a rundown. I think I've covered everything that I use most of the time. I've got Total Commander for uh, FTP work and uh, moving files around, that seems to work very well. And otherwise, I think that's really about it. Um, other than to point out that I, I, know, I, I while the long renders are going on, uh, indie games I find very good because they, they don't turn to use up too much of the uh, processing power of the computer so I can render and noodle around in well, FTL that's my game of choice at the moment which is uh, sort of a turn turn-based roguelike uh, space combat game if you wanted to pretend you were Captain Kirk <laughs> so there you go a rundown of my software hope you found that interesting and useful and it'll help you make your choices when it comes to looking for doing s some of the things that uh, you might want to do um, outside of Bryce, for example.